Um, hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to be doing a presentation over ADHD, which stands for Attention Deficit um, Hyperactive Disorder. And basically, it's an imbalance of chemicals in the brain. And I've been diagnosed with ADHD since second grade. Um, I personally think of ADHD as like having a bunch of Red Bull and still not wanting to do anything productive or have anything or have any energy. And more than half the population is affected by ADHD. So I'm sure everyone here knows at least someone or is affected by it. There are two types of categories that um, fall underneath ADHD. Inattentive, which is missing details, easily distracted, easily bored, trouble focusing, becoming confused easily. And I struggle with these da daily, especially lack of concentration and confusion. Um, so, I mean, I'm probably gonna get con uh, lose my concentration during the speech because I really just wanna get it over with. <laughs> and then there's the hyperactive impulsive which is fidgeting, nonstop talking, trouble sitting still, you don't have a lot of patience, and you blurt out random things. Um, and if you're diagnosed with ADHD, in most cases you can switch from the hyperactive to the impulsive as you mature. So everybody here probably relates to one of these things, um, even if they aren't diagnosed. But with my experience in lower school and middle school, I struggled with blurting out random things all the time. If you knew me, I talked a lot. I would get in trouble every single day with teachers. I'd get calls at home about how I wasn't doing good in school. I definitely wasn't the perfect child. But now that I've matured, I fall underneath the inattentive category where I just don't concentrate at all. Okay, and then so here you can see a normal brain has this, all that pink fun stuff shooting out of it and an ADHD brain doesn't. And that pink fun stuff is called neurotransmitters and you're probably wondering like what is that? So those send signals <laughs> across the brain like to concentrate. So they're telling you to pay attention to the screen or to not pay attention or to do whatever you want to do. So if you have an imbalance of these, it can lead to a dysfunction of um, impulse control, which are symptoms of ADHD. Um, and so they use dopamine, amphetamines, and stimulants to help correct this, um, to help the imbalance of the neurotransmitters in the ADHD brain. And so yeah, it's crazy because stimulants and amphetamines and dopamine are so frowned upon, but they, I mean, they're found in um, medicine even given to toddlers. And most, the most common drugs are Adderall, Vivant, and Ritalin. Um, and so these drugs, they help make a brain function normally, well, an ADHD brain function normally. So they increase the concentration and decrease the fatigue. So, um, but they do come with side effects though. So everybody here, if you know someone with ADHD or you have ADHD, you've asked or have heard, are you on your medication? Because the side effects are so major and they're really noticeable. And they are usually um, trouble sleeping, you have fatigue, you're moody, you have loss of appetite, you withdraw yourself from fun activities with your friends or you have depression. But whenever you're off your medication, you're a completely different person. So I mean, it's, it's just kind of whatever. But with these side effects comes good grades and a well put together lifestyle. I have personally never appreciated the side effects of the medication and I've struggled with them since second grade. Um, but over the years I've been able to get over it and just kind of push through it. But I do attend a private school where my academics is more important than my social life. And so I guess now you can see what people with ADHD brains have to go through on a daily basis. Um, and thank you.